Hello everyone, can you believe we are already in the third week of October? Time really flies and before we know it, we will be diving into November. But before we get too far ahead of ourselves, it's time for me to sit down and pre-plan my upcoming week. If you are like me, pre-week planning is essential to keeping everything on track and it makes a world of difference in how I approach my daily tasks. As always, my first step is to do a brain dump. Now, when I say brain dump, I don't just mean sitting down and trying to force myself to think of everything I need to do for the week. For me, brain dumping is an ongoing process. I jot down tasks as they come to mind, whether it's while I'm out on a walk, cooking, or even in the middle of the night when I suddenly remember something important. So it's one of those things that's really useful to do consistently because let's face it, we don't always have the best ideas when we sit down at our desk, right? So I highly recommend keeping a small notebook or using a notes app on your phone to capture those fleeting thoughts. That way, when it's time to sit down and plan your week, you can simply refer to your list instead of having to rack your brain trying to remember everything. This makes the entire pre-planning session a whole lot easier and honestly, less stressful. So before I start preparing my inserts, I always review my calendar for any upcoming appointments, deadlines and events. And this is such an important step because it gives me a clear picture of what's happening throughout the week and helps me figure out how much space I have to schedule in my tasks. I also take a moment to check any tasks I didn't complete last week to see if they need to be carried over or reschedule, which I will add to my brain dump list. Now it's time to jot down everything on my weekly vertical insert. And since I'm using an undated insert, I always start by writing the dates at the top using a brush pen. I love doing this because it adds a personal touch and, and lets me get creative with how my planner looks. After that, I focus on the goals and targets um, I want to accomplish for the week at the left hand column, which can be used for tasks, but I prefer to use it to write down my goals and targets. I like having a clear visual reminder of what I'm looking towards so I can stay motivated as I go through the week. Once my goals are set, I begin placing my tasks on specific days. This is where my brain dump list really comes in handy. As I assign tasks to each day, I can quickly see which ones are going to be the busiest and plan accordingly. This is the most important part of my pre-planning process because when I do my daily planning, I don't have to spend too much time thinking about what needs to be done. I can just dive straight in. I do leave a bit of room in each day's section for additional tasks because, as we all know, things pop up throughout the week and it's always good to have a bit of flexibility. This is exactly why pre-week planning is such a game changer for me because it allows me to spread out my workload and I know ahead of time what each day is going to look like. Now about this insert I'm using, it is the HP Classic size and you can actually find it in my shop. I will leave the link in the description box below. And right now I have this insert available in letter size and the HP Classic size, but I am working on releasing more sizes soon. So stay tuned for that. Once I have assigned the task for each day, I block up my time for these tasks using different colors to categorize my activities. For instance, I use yellow for health-related tasks, green for deep work se sessions, purple for anything related to my daughter, and gray for routine activities like household chores. Color coding helps me visually separate different parts of my day, so I can see at a glance how balanced my week is. Then I will write down the tasks that I will be focusing 
focusing on during the blocked session. I have a habit of working late, so by blocking my hour for specific tasks like cooking, lessons to teach my daughter, and etc., I make sure that I finish my work as scheduled so that I can focus on my next role as mother and cook at home. <laughs> anyway, jokes aside, let me tell you, blocking time in your day is crucial if you want to ensure that you have enough time for all your important tasks. It helps you to stay focused and avoid getting sidetracked by less important activities. By assigning specific time slots to different categories of tasks, you can ensure a balanced and productive day. This method also allows for better time management and reduces the stress of feeling overwhelmed by a long to-do list. Usually, I like to add some cute icon stickers for things like my filming, editing, and cooking. But today, since I am in a bit of a rush, I decided to stick with just using font stickers instead. I added a family time using a fun sticker because, let's be honest, those little touches of decoration just make planning more enjoyable. And finally, to finish things off, I added some minimal floral decorations in the corner of the insert on the left side of the page. I love adding little details like that because it makes my planner feel more personalized and fun. But honestly, you can go as minimal or as decorative as you want. It's all about making the planner work for you. I tried putting washi tape along the edge of my pages where the disc go in, thinking it would help strengthen the edges. But here's the thing, I should have known better because it ended up making my puncher get stuck. So if you are thinking about doing the same thing, maybe reconsider. I've learned my huge lesson and that puncher is in the dustbin right now and I'm waiting for a new puncher now. So that's it for this week's pre-planning session. If you are interested in this insert, don't forget to check out the link in the description box below. And if you are not already, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more planning tips, inspiration, and of course, planner-related content. I hope this video was helpful for you, and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Happy planning, everyone, and take care. Bye!